Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of The Binding of Isaac Repentance. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. Remy, why do you always come in here the moment I start a video? It's like without fail. You leave me alone for the whole video, but then the moment I start, you're like, yo, attention please. <laughs> you goof. Uh, let's do a greed mode run today. Uh, let's see, who have we not... We haven't done Greed as Eve since we unlocked the the Razor Blade. So let's actually do that. Let's do a Greed Mode run as Eve. And let's see how this goes. Okay, I will take Odd Mushroom. That's pretty okay. It's just a great rate of fire increase right at the beginning. Uh, I could have sworn Eve starts with three hearts. Maybe not. Maybe I'm losing my mind. Okay, well... In that case, uh, let's just try really hard not to die. I mean, thankfully, we do have a great rate of fire thanks to Skinny Odd Mushroom. And we've got good damage thanks to uh, the Razor Blade and uh, Babylon, obviously. So if we can make this work, that'll be good. We just got to make sure we clear these waves out before they have a chance to build up too much and really put us in a bad position. Okay, there we go. Get rid of the little spiders. Yeah, didn't clear that wave fast enough, but that's okay. We can clear these ones out pretty easily. They're not too bad. Get rid of you. Very good. Little spiders, no big deal. Being able to one-shot the little spiders is super valuable. Okay, you, on the other hand, are being kind of a jerk. Troll bombs are a little scary. They'd stay far away from me, please. Thank you. That was kind of scary as well, but we managed to get rid of them fast enough. And now it's just the boss wave. And given that we have the razor blade boost, I think we're just going to fight the bosses immediately. You're dead. Oh, okay. It's literally the same boss again. Piece of cake. And finally... We got uh, Deal Boss. I'm going to try and take out all the little dudes first. And then we'll worry about the big dude. There we go. And we can burn him down super quick. There we go. All right. Pretty decent. We'll check and see what we got in here. We do have the Mark. And we do have Dark Matter. Uh, the Mark, you definitely want to take. Because it does give you HP back, it gives you damage and speed. I think you want to take this for sure. The question is, do you take Dark Matter? And I think the answer is, no risk it, no biscuit. So now, we have no HP. <laughs> other than one Blackheart, which is very scary. Almond milk. I mean... How can I say no? <laughs> let's get crazy. All right, uh, let's do one of these. Uh, we will buy a few keys. How many keys do I need? I'm a uh, first floor. I need second, third, fourth, fifth. I need five keys. So I'm going to buy all my keys right now. And then we're going to head down to the next floor. We shoot very quickly. Our shots, not so great, but it's fine. Curse of the Unknown, not a big deal. Yo, Pyromaniac is great. Explosion immunity, Synth Oil, more damage, also great. Um, No HP in here, which is not so great. I was really hoping for a little bit of HP. Let's blow this up. Maybe it'll drop a spirit heart. It did not drop a spirit heart, but it did give us money and our bomb back. Um, we really need just like a little bit of HP. Okay, that'll work. Uh, and I, you know what? I'll take a dice shard too. And we'll hold on to that for later. So I can't buy the, uh, the HP that's in there right now. And I'd prefer not to, but I think in the interest of being alive, we probably should. 
Don't get hit by all these. Okay, we have little things. Take you out. Take you out. I mean, the run itself is honestly really good. Like, we're clearing enemies. That was bad. Now we're one hit from death. Which means we also can't stop the waves. Because if we stop the waves, uh, we will take damage by stepping on the bike. So... This is... Oh, that is the last wave already. Holy cow, that was super fast. We flew through those. All right, I need... I, I think I... I need to buy dessert. As much as I don't want to, I think I have to. Just to make sure that we, we don't die from like a random hit that kind of comes out of nowhere. Like the run itself is very strong. We can have one red heart with Eve and still be in our Babylon state. So having one red heart, I can live with it. Careful. And now we're basically just letting our damage do things for us. And our damage is honestly pretty good. Like our our, our damage output. Our actual damage stat itself is trash, obviously, because we have almond milk. But like our rate of fire is so high that it doesn't even matter. Wouldn't mind having a little bit more shot speed, maybe? Because it seems like our shots take a little while to get to where I wanted to go, but that's fine. Uh, honestly, I'm just going to take those. Call it good. Just take the black hearts. Uh, you know what? I should have used the dice shard in there. That's okay. It's fine. Uh, we're moving on to the next floor. And honestly, we're pretty happy how it stands right now. Like, the run is looking pretty good overall. We don't have a ton of health, but we got a little bit. That we might reroll. Midnight snack I'll take. Uh, I think you just re-roll this. Ugh, yuck. Dunce cap. Terrible item. Um, I will spend a bomb to get a spirit heart. That seems like a good plan. I will also blow you up. Get another key and a little bit of money, and we'll give this one re-roll. Okay, I would like to buy growth hormones. Actually, I would probably like to buy, buy Blood Clot, since we have almond milk. That's probably a better choice. Uh, let's check the cursed room. Let's just see what's in here. Okay. All right, we'll use Razor Blade, and let's start killing enemies. But yeah, having an extra, like, one damage or 1.5 damage or whatever it is on every other shot when you fire this many shots, <laughs> like, I think that's probably going to be more valuable overall than, um, than growth hormones. Although growth hormones is great, too. I'd actually like to have both of them if I can. But we also got to start thinking here pretty soon about, uh, you know, being able to donate. Because that's our, that's our ultimate goal, is to be able to donate as much possible... Uh, or as much as possible at the end to the greed machine. We need to get up to that amount so that we can unlock Holy Mantle on the Lost. And we haven't actually unlocked the Lost yet, but we still want to make sure that we have Holy Mantle on that character. Because when we do, that's kind of one of the reasons that we haven't been doing a lot of ult path runs, is that you have to play as the Lost for a short section, and we don't have Holy Mantle. Uh, which is pretty tough. Like, a couple of the alt path runs we've done have just ended because, you know, you gotta, you gotta play as the Lost, and the Lost doesn't have the normal Holy Mantle, so it's like, eh, ow, that was definitely not the place to stand. This is also not the boss I wanted to fight. Okay, you're just chilling over there. We're gonna make it through. We've done it. All right. This is honestly an easier fight right here than the uh, the actual boss fight was. Focus on one at a time. Okay, let's focus on you next. Get the, the little ones burned down. That's the brimstone beam. Okay, you're dead. Oh, the other one's already dead. Okay. And we got Guppy's hairball. Um, The odds of becoming Guppy are not great, but... You gotta try. It's worth a shot. 
Uh, so by blood clot right here. We've unlocked a new item for that. And then do we buy growth hormones? I don't think we do. The damage is great. But with that said, we don't need the speed and I kind of want the money. And the damage isn't going to be that much more. It's going to be like 0.2 or something like that. Like it won't be a huge amount. So uh, honestly, like number one item I'd love to see would be like Ipecac. That would be amazing. Because we have uh, Pyromaniac. So anything that would cause like explosions, I would absolutely take. Lemon Party is kind of bad. Tower card. Tower card's actually good. Given that we have Hemolacria. Also, I'm loving the whole three cent spirit heart thing. Like, absolutely sign me up for that. Uh, and let me throw a bomb down right here and possibly get... Ooh. Flat Penny is okay. Gives you a chance to get a key every time you pick up a coin. The thing is, we already have basically as many keys as we could want. Uh, let's check this. Let's see what we got. Lemon Party. Amnesia doesn't matter. Range upgrade. Okay. We'll stick with the tower. Since we have explosion immunity, I'm totally good with just throwing a bunch of bombs down in the middle of a room. And letting them blow up enemies. If we find ourselves in a situation where we're a little overwhelmed by the number of enemies on the screen, Tower Card can kind of help, at least to some degree, to help sort of resolve that. Okay, there we go. Take you out as well. I mean, we're our damage output seems to be holding up pretty well. Oh, didn't realize you were hiding down here. Okay. That's fine. There's some very annoying enemies here. Specifically the, uh, these guys. There we go. They just charge at you. And they're quick enough that they can cause problems. Are your troll bombs? I don't care. I'm immune to troll bombs. I have pyromaniac. I'm immune to explosions. Your troll bombs do not scare me. Honestly, wouldn't mind, mind finding a key beggar at this point. Because we have a uh, flat penny, so we're going to have so many extra keys. That would be pretty nice. Then we can actually put them to use and do something with them. Uh, Skolex is a very annoying boss for our current build. Because I can't really... There we go. This is our chance to actually get decent damage on him. Come on. And those shots don't hurt me either. He's almost dead at this point. Oh, he snuck up on me. That's all right. Double Mr. Fred. Focus on one at a time. Ah, that wasn't good. You know what? We're going to pop a tower card right here. Did we get one? No, you're still alive. All right, one is dead. Now we just got to deal with the other. So the hard part is over. Now it's just a matter of hitting the other one. Uh, excuse me. I was not. Uh, I was off to the side. I disagree. That's all right. We can buy more spirit hearts. Uh, what have we got in here? Krampus, please give me lump of coal. Like, pretty please give me lump of coal. Thank you. Lump of coal, great item. Especially given that it works really well with our current build. I'm going to buy enough spirit hearts. Do I want to just max out my spirit hearts, honestly? I think I kind of do. And then we just go down to the next floor. And all the money we get from here... Like, at this point, this build is probably good enough. So I'm kind of thinking that we just, like... We just go to the boss at this point. We do what we gotta do. Um, Kidney Bean is pretty terrible. Eye drops I can live with. It's more rate of fire. Uh, we'll pick this up just to get it out of the item pool to make sure I can't see it again. Just peek in here. Is there anything I want? Not really. Um, yeah, let's just go fight. 
let's just go start killing enemies and like I think that honestly I, I genuinely think the run is good enough at this point to beat greed so at this point it's just a matter of keeping our health as high as we possibly can and banking all the money we possibly can so we can donate it at the end of the run so if we don't buy anything else which we shouldn't need to I think we'll be able to donate about 60 to 70 cents I don't know exactly how much you get per floor. But we gotta stop taking bad damage here. There we go. Alright. I stepped on the... I, okay. Well, that's annoying. I didn't mean to step on that. Yeah, th this is like the problem, is that there's so much stuff going on on screen that it's hard to see what you're supposed to dodge and what you're not. It is a blow. Of course it is. Why Why would you... It's double blow. That's even worse than regular blow. Why would you do this to me, game? That's alright. We'll kill you. And then we'll let you pop up here. And we'll take you out. Yeah, our damage output is actually great. That was a very fast couple of bloat kills. Uh, I don't think we want either of these. PhD, there's an argument for it, but we're, you just don't see that many pills in greed mode, unless you decide to buy them. And that's rarely worth it. Tinted rock, and down we go. Alright, there's no item room on this floor. Oh, we got Curse of the Blind. Yeah, so we're definitely not buying anything here. Uh, let's blow this up. Okay, I will buy one of these for three cents, and I will blow that up. Because we'll prop... We didn't get our investment back? Excuse me. Fine, I'll blow this up then too. Okay. Well, that ended up not really working out for us, but that's okay. Um, yeah, let's just fight, just fight the waves. Call it good. Clear this stuff out. The run is pretty powerful. Like, the thing is, almond milk, or soy milk for that matter. I mean, they're basically the same item. The only difference is that almond milk adds like weird tier effects like all the weird trajectories on your tiers so your shots go all over the place whereas soy milk is just your tier just fire in a straight line but like almond milk slash soy milk plus lump of coal and plus blood clot is like so much damage like we, we can just melt enemies now, it won't work quite as well against Greed himself, because Greed has uh, boss armor. But even still, like, our, our damage output is pretty good. We can't complain. We're not struggling at all to get through these waves. We will, of course, check the deal wave as well. Because you want to at least check... You know, what if there's, like, a brimstone in there or something? There are certain items that we would take, certain items that we wouldn't. Well, it just depends. Okay, there we go. Check the deal. I mean, what if we go in there and there's two guppy items, for example? That'd be amazing. We do have a guppy item. You know? I wouldn't mind having a second. Or a... a okay. Well, this is a good item, in theory. Because it's multiple hearts? What is it? Bloody Lust. Nah. Okay, it's not a great item. But I think we'll still be okay. Let's just go fight the boss. Any damage we take will give us a damage increase. That's nice. Probably not worth all the HP that we used, but still. And this is probably where we use our last bomb. To hit those two uh, shopkeeper statues that have the nickels for eyes and head. Okay, steam sail. Obviously, steam sail doesn't help us a whole lot, but there we go. That gets us a little bit of extra. And now we fight greed and hope that we come out on top. If we do, we'll be able to donate a pretty decent amount of money. We just got to be pretty careful with this fight. I mean, he is dying. He's just not dying quite as quick as I would like him to be dying. But, like, he's never dying quite as quick as I'd like him to be dying, so that's not really, like, a fair <laughs> statement. 
I would like him to just die instantly. And it is possible to have a run so powerful that you can essentially one-shot bosses like this, but it's very rare. You pretty much have to break the game and get, like, every item in the game at once. Okay, clear out the ads. There we go. Ooh, careful. Uh, keys are bad. I mean, keys aren't that bad, honestly. Like, they're a little annoying, but... You know, we didn't have... Eh, that's very bad, though. All those bombs over there? Yeah, that's not good. Ow. Rude. That's all right. We're getting him. Oh, can't dodge that. I also just realized I can't actually see my HP, which is a little scary. So I guess the solution is just, like, play your best and hope that uh, you don't run into a situation where you need to see your HP. Like, if you just don't get hit, it doesn't matter what your HP is. Can you stop with the let's summon all the enemies attack? It's getting a little annoying. We're getting him though. He's down to like 85% uh, ish. He's getting low. I think we got this. We should still be okay from an HP perspective. This would actually be a great run to do Ultra Greed if we had done Greedier, because, like, Pyro, the, the Ultra Greed is basically just a, it's exactly the same, except you get a little bit less money over the course of the run. And also, there's a second phase to this boss. And that phase basically turns all of his attacks into explosive attacks, which is extremely annoying. But we have Pyromaniac, so we're immune to explosions. So this would have been a great uh, a great one to do that on. But either way, we can donate a bunch of money to the Greed Machine. And that is exactly what we're going to do. There we go. Up to 626 cents. We're making some progress. That is going to do it for today's episode. Guys, if, guys, if you uh, enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Links in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.